What is going on guys? Today I have a very special video for you. Very special video. Today's video is a keyboard lighting design derived from a comment from Bobby Hanna Banana. He's already sent me a couple comments on this lighting design. His first comment, he says, can you please make the design don't know? By the way, your videos are great, keep it up. His second comment actually came very recently, just yesterday. He said, I love your vids, keep it up. Can you make the design don't know? So when I first looked at the design on the video that he had sent me, I thought, oh yeah, this should be doable, no problem. Well, after two full nights and half a day, I can honestly say this is easily the hardest design I've ever tried to replicate. There were lots of complications in it, which I'm going to get into. Real quick, I just want to say that if you're going to use the download link that I have in the description below, make sure that you have a keyboard that is exactly like mine or at least the same width or else I don't think it's going to work. I have the Razer Black Widow Chroma V2. It's got the extra keys. I will be explaining why I think it won't work. But before I do, please consider hitting that like button as well as the subscribe and bell icon. That way you guys get notifications as soon as I upload my next video. Alright guys, here we go. This is Don't Know. Bobby Hanna Banana, I really hope you appreciate this video because I spent a lot of time on this video. All right, guys, so here we go. What we're going to do first, we start off with a brand new chroma effect. What we're going to do is we're going to hit these three dots, click that rename, and name it Don't Know. And the first thing we're going to take care of on this design is the diagonal lines or waves that you see in that design. So go ahead and click on your effect layer, the three dots over here, and change it to a wave. You can just highlight all of your keys right now and hit the delete button, hit save. That way we're starting from a blank slate. Now for the whole entire first night I spent trying to get this design to work, I tried taking multiple waves and pointing them at each other at a 45 degree angle and whatever and it just was not working. They were not lined up. Spacing was way off. And I grew really frustrated. And basically the first night I tried doing this video, I didn't get anything done. I spent the whole night slamming my head against the wall, not literally, but it was very difficult. I could not get the diagonals to work. So I slept on it. And the next day I got down here to the computer where I could give it another shot. I had thought about it quite a bit and I ended up getting it. This is what I came up with. So real quick, I want to show you guys um, a quick little tip about waves. So if I set up a wave, a multi-color pattern wave, and I use the split option here, just like that, with an angle of 90 degrees, your pattern diverges. It goes from the center outward. If you change this angle to 270, it converges. It goes from the out to the inside. So um, if you're trying to get a, a wave pattern to go towards itself, this is what you do. You, you go to split and you make sure you turn it to the left side of this circle. Anywhere between 180 and zero degrees on the left side of this of this circle is going to give you a converging pattern now if you're on the right side of it it will diverge anywhere on the right side of that circle your color is going to diverge so what you want to do is select half of your keyboard so we're just going to select this half over here i'm going to hold control and unselect that key i'm going to click on my color drop down choose a multi-color pattern the stock is fine you want to do a two second pause. Okay. You're going to go to the left side of the circle so that it converges on itself. This one you want to bring up at an angle of 315 degrees. So now we're going to select the right side of the keyboard with the same wave effect layer that we have chosen here. So we're just going to select all these 
and I'm going to deselect the keys that are part of the left side. Don't forget your razor logo. And click the color drop down, choose multi pattern down here. You want to bring this angle down to 225 degrees. And it really is that easy. I spent all night, my first day, trying to get this design to work. All night trying to get these diagonals. But there it is for you guys in about one minute. You're welcome. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit that save button. And that is all we have for our diagonals. Before we go to add a, a new layer, just go ahead and right click on that layer we made. And I'm just gonna name mine diagonals. So that one is done and out of the way. Now we're going to move on to the blue and green wave. So go ahead and click on this wave effect layer to add a new wave. And real quick, just to make the keyboard less busy while we're trying to get this wave going, you can click on this little eyeball next to diagonal and it's going to hide all the busy lights so that you're not being distracted while you're trying to make your other layers. So the blue and green wave, you would think this is easy. Coming into day two, I was thinking, oh, if the diagonals work, I'm gonna have a smooth sailing to the finish line. Absolutely not. If we just take a look at how a wave works, uh, if we select our whole keyboard, hit that color drop down, choose the two tone here, go green on both nodes, just like that. Choose 15 speed, 100%, two second pause, 270 degrees so we have our line going to the left, and hit save. So basically, this is the green and blue wave that hides the diagonals in the design. So you have the diagonals going, you have a green and blue wave that goes over the top of them, just like that. But how do you get the green and blue? So here we have the green. And I'm thinking, oh, yeah, you can just make the right side blue, the left side green. It's all one wave, right? So it should all just act as one individual wave. So what happens when you do that? Select the right half of your keyboard just like this. Go ahead and change that color to blue and blue. And hit save. So now you can see when you change the color, it may basically makes the wave slower and shorter. So it's not as long and it's way slower. So as you can tell, this did not help me out at all. So going into day two, this was the big struggle for me, trying to figure out the blue and green waves. So I'm telling you guys, this took me a really long time to figure out. Four hours tonight to be in to be exact but if you take the blue effect over here take the blue control C on that and paste it in the furthest left key that you can so there I've pasted my blue so you can see I have blue over here on the right with just one dot over there on the left you see how much faster this blue is than that See, the blue is much faster than the green because the blue has to travel the full length of the keyboard in the same amount of time that the green has to travel half. So if we do the same thing with the green, click on the green, control C and control V over on the right. So now you can see now green is the same full length of my keyboard and the blue is the same full length of my keyboard and you can see it just about works it's right there I'm telling you guys I hit this point right here and I was like I'm just gonna upload my video I'm gonna make a don't know 2.0 and be done with it I've already spent so much time on this video I'm just gonna have my blue and green layers have one dot a piece on each side and be done this is it but then my pride got the best of me and I thought to myself, how am I going to hide those two singles? Well, this is what you do. We can't get rid of them because our colors have to be the full length of the keyboard. So we add a wave, a new wave layer up at the top. 
Go ahead and right click on that wave you had before previously, rename it, and we're just going to name it blue, blue slash green. And your new wave layer that you just created, right click on that, rename that wave layer. This is going to be blue cap. So this is just a blue wave layer that's going to cap off our green key that's over here on the right. It's going to disguise it as blue. Go ahead and click back into your blue green way or effect. Click on a blue key, control C, go back into blue cap, click on your green key and hit control V. And you can hit save. So now we have a blue key that is hiding that green one, but not hiding it how it should be. So how do you fix this? Well, same exact thing. You got to make it the full length of your keyboard. So you click on this blue key, control C, and click over here on the left side, make it full length, control V. So now as you can see, <clears throat> once we hit save, that green is no longer on the right side at all. So now we got to hide the blue one on the left. How do you do that, you might ask? Well, we can't overwrite the blue that we just used, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna create a new wave layer. We're gonna right click, rename this green cap. Go into blue green, click on one of your green keys and hit control C. Make sure you have that new green cap effect layer checked over here. Click on that blue key that's driving everybody nuts and control V to paste. And hit save. So there it is guys, there's the blue and green wave and if you unhide your diagonals and hit save. If you guys own a razor mouse, this is what I recommend. Go ahead and create a new wave layer. And we're just going to rename that to blue green mouse. Go ahead and highlight your mouse. Click on that drop down. Choose the two tone color here. And we're going to do blue and green. Go ahead and close those in just like that. I'm just going to go ahead and leave everything the same. Hit save. I'm going to go over here and click in this gray area just to uncheck all my highlighted buttons. And I'm going to click on my razor mouse and not my other button. And I'm just going to change this one to alter the colors a little bit. Change the left side to blue and the right side to green and hit save. That's just going to alternate blue and green on my razor mouse. And last but not least, Go ahead and right click on that diagonal layer you created first and duplicate it. Right click, rename diagonal mouse, hit save. So once you have di the diagonal mouse layer checked, click on this outside key here, control C and paste that over the mouse. Hit save, highlight everything on the keyboard, and hit the delete button just to take the effect away from the keyboard, and hit save. So now what you should have is a razor mouse that alternates blue and green, but also has that diagonal wave effect that is in sync with your keyboard. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Bobby Hanna Banana, I hope you really appreciate this video that I created for you. If you guys haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button as well as the bell icon. That way you know when I put up my most recent video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.